Hello everyone, welcome to TechQV channel. In this video, we are going to see how to do page responsiveness testing using Cypress. So we have been using Cypress for uh, UI functional testing and API functional testing and all. Let's see how can we use this for uh, UI responsiveness testing. So basically what is that? Uh, some people know uh, UI responsiveness like when you are testing website. So you have to test in uh, multiple uh, screen resolutions. For example, this is a, a Mac MacBook Air screen which I'm using. The same one I I want to check. The, for example, the Cypress uh, website. I just want to check is this website uh, coming fine for a uh, mobile iPhone 7, 6, 7, 8, also iPhone X, and also Moto G4. Okay, this is kind of a manual we will do from the uh, Chrome browser developer tools. The same thing how can we achieve with cypress so that i'm going to show in this video so you got it like right so what is response like testing responsiveness in uh, different screen resolutions so let's uh, go to the script i have sample script which will go to uh, twitter.com so here is a small script let me run this so already i have uh, started the cypress uh, here is the file name responsiveness.js okay small script this is not ui responsive code actually so this is a sample script which will go to twitter and click on login button and check the email text box ui responsiveness okay here you can see the commands just going to twitter page so something is blocked saying just write run one more time mm -hmm. it's uh, it's loading all the apis also there is a way you can validate this accessor request also let's see that in the separate video okay so once all the stuff loaded it will click on login I think because of network it's just taking time to load these APIs see there are just two API got 200 okay now it clicked on login and you got a text box we are just uh, asserting this box okay the same thing how can we do with uh, multiple screen that's a topic here uh, let me create uh, one more IT so the test name is like twitter login page iphone x okay so i just want go i just want to go back to ca dot visit so what i will do i will take this same stuff same stuff okay before that i have to switch to iphone x uh, view view port in a sense like uh, the size of the screen okay how can we do it programmatically let's uh, go to view port there is a page something like if you click on api you can see this command if you come down you can see view port when you click on view port you can it will redirect to this page here the syntax cy dot viewport you can just pass custom width and height preset and orientation so there are there are multiple options with viewport preset orientation and options also you can okay there are usage also how can you use that so custom something like 550 750 or viewport iphone 6 so how can it will find iphone 6 cypress by default it has some preferences something like this here you can see ipad 2 ipad mini ipad 3 something like that so by referring this you can just pass like this iphone x i'm going to pass it cy dot viewport okay iphone x it switched to iphone x now the code is same okay so as of now i'm not optimizing the code we can optimize also so this is how we can test in the different uh, resolutions uh, like let let's see is this running again yeah okay now you can see the screen also here 
it switched to iPhone X that uh, view and loading the URL it's loaded and you got a login page also so this is how you can run multiple uh, resolutions something like what I will do I will just check uh, iPhone X to iPhone uh, 7 and just save it it will just start running again okay oh there is no iPhone 7 preferences in the error itself you can see here Samsung Note 9 so what I will do I will just set up Samsung Note 9 let's see so this is just a UI level validation right so uh, here you can do functional also once you switch to the uh, iPhone like Samsung screen then you can try to log in and see how it react the home page so this is the this is the basic concept you have to switch to viewport basically so maybe you can uh, set this this viewport you can set it in the array and you can pass one by one you can check all the screen uh, size in one test that also possible so basically this is this video is like uh, giving you a basic idea how can we switch to the screen and do the validations i as of now i just covered just clicking on login and validating but you can do whole flow with mobile screen and web desktop which is more important right for example there are application you are building for mobile in that cases maybe you can switch to viewport and you can test on the mobile screen only okay that also fine possible and uh, uh, you can ask we can use mobile only right why you have to use viewport uh, if you are lack of mobile or if you have lack of uh, simulator or emulator if you don't want to use emulator with just with uh, uh, our uh, browser if you want to run we can use it this is like kind of a uh, smoke test you can check okay uh, there won't be any break like uh, screen bre break that you can validate with this viewport then if you have the device availability that also you can do it okay guys thanks for watching this video if you like it please subscribe 